I'm Senior Captain Tommy Hill. And I'm Senior Defenseman Derek Graham. Senior Captain Chad Billens and Senior Netminder Taylor Nelson are currently on a list of 77 college hockey players nominated for the Hobie Baker Award. The Hobie Baker Award is an honor given annually to college hockey's top player who emulates exceptional traits including strength of character both on and off the ice, contributes to the integrity of his team, and displays outstanding skill in all phases of the game. For our Bulldogs to make it to the next phase, we need fans to log on and vote early and often at HobieBakerAward.com. We will now find out a bit more about Taylor and Chad. Hello, I'm senior Derek Graham here with senior goalkeeper Taylor Nelson, and uh, we're getting to know more about him right now. So first I want to start off with Taylor, tell us a little bit about your hometown. I'm from Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada, home of the Saskatchewan Rough Riders Canadian Football League team. Um, just a great little town, capital city of Saskatchewan, um, and population just over uh, 200,000 people, so it's a great community. Okay, um, can you let us know what your major is right now? Yeah, I'm currently uh, studying marketing uh, with a concentration in uh, retail. What, uh, what exactly drew you to the city of Big Rapids? Well, uh, being from Saskatchewan and, and playing junior hockey in, uh, in a number of small town communities, um, what drew me to Fair State University was the fact that the, the community of Big Rapids is, is, uh, is a smaller type uh, city. Um, that's closely knit and uh, really focuses on the university and the university sports. So that was a big, uh, a big reason why I came to Fair State. And I know you got a few uh, favorite hangout spots, but could you tell us uh, your favorite one? Yeah, you know I love hanging out at the Evigleven Ice Arena. Um, you know when you're not practicing or playing games, you're in the dressing room here, uh, hanging out with the fellas and and you know telling jokes and hearing stories and. You know, just spending time with the guys that, uh, you know, that, that help get, get you where you need to be. So uh, hanging out here is definitely my favorite, favorite hangout spot. Yes, I agree. Um, now I know we're a close-knit group here at Fair State, but uh, if you had to pick your best friend on the team, who would you say that is? Yeah, you know, we are, we're an awful close team, and awfully close team, sorry. And, uh, but, you know, I'd like to say uh, my best friend on the team is Captain Chad Billens. Uh, we've been roommates for four years, uh, right from the dorms on out. So, um, you know, Chad Billens, he's a great guy, and you know he'll do anything for you. So, all right. And uh, who is your roomie on most road trips? Uh, it's Chad Billens uh, again this year. Uh, you know, it's kind of a random choice. We don't get to choose our roommates on the road, so it's pretty fortunate that uh, I was able to get him. You know, some guys have their uh, rituals or not before games, so could you uh, let us know what you like to do before games? Yeah, you know, uh, I enjoy taking uh, a break and having a nice Kit Kat bar. So I, uh, I eat a Kit Kat before every game, before every warm up. So um, yeah, it's uh, just a great, tasty treat. Nice. Um, each player is given an ambassador family when they come as a freshman at Fair State here, and uh, could you tell us about yours? Yeah, my, uh, my ambassador family is Darren and Marcia Sabula. Uh, they're excellent people. Uh, Darren's famous for cooking those great steaks, and Marcia's, she's famous for those cheesy potatoes. So, um, you know, it's, they're great people, and, and you know, just like, uh, um, just like family to me, and they would do anything for me, and uh, yeah, just excellent, excellent people. When exactly did you start playing hockey? Uh, I started skating at the age of four, and my dad put me in uh, skating lessons. Um, so I guess I would have actually started playing hockey at probably age five, playing the actual sport. So. And how did you get into the position of goalkeeper? It's uh, kind of a funny question, actually. Um, I was, you know, young, and me and my dad were playing mini sticks in the living room, and I uh, hopped a net right away and made a beauty kick save. So he said right away, he said, "Hey, it's you look like a goalie out there." So I guess that stuck. <laughs> um, with just a little bit over halfway through the season here, um, looking back, could you elaborate on how you think it's gone thus far? Yeah, you know, I, I think we're doing pretty well as a team right now. Um, we just came off a weekend sweep against Colgate, which is a, a very tough competitor. Um, we're in a little bit of a lull before that, um, but it's great to get out, get out of that lull, and back in the winning ways. And and uh, you know, every season, every game that we have left in the season is going to be a 
monumental series. So it's um, it's going to be a big uh, big year for the Bulldogs, and um, I'm awfully excited for it. Alrighty, and last question here. Tell us uh, what you like to do in your free time. Well, you know, I, the, the little bit of time that we do have uh, with our rigorous schedule, um, I enjoy uh, playing some video games with the guys and, and hanging out with the guys. And uh, yeah, just finished a series of Dexter with a couple of them. It's a, it's a great show and some great, uh, great time, quality time. Popular HBO series 24 7, both the Philadelphia Flyers and the Washington Capitals had win songs. Could you tell us what our win song is? Oh, wow, it's a great tune. Uh, written, uh, well, I don't know if written by, but um, performed by the Scissor Sisters. I don't feel like dancing. No, sir, no dancing today. Hi, I'm Senior Captain Tommy Hill, back here with fellow captain and senior defenseman Chad Billings, and uh, we're going to get to know a bit more about Chad here. To start with, uh, Chad, uh, what is your uh, hometown? Uh, my hometown is Marysville, Michigan, uh, just south of Port here on, on the Thumb. All right. Now, uh, what is your uh, major you're pursuing in school? Uh, I'm in the marketing pro program uh, with a concentration in sports marketing. Now, when uh, looking at schools, what drew you to the city of uh, Big Rapids? Uh, the small town community was definitely a huge draw, and um, it was kind of like love at first sight when I when I stepped on campus. Um, was able to be escorted around by uh, Cody Chop, and he really uh, put everything in perspective here. Sounds good. Now, what is your uh, favorite spot on campus or in Big Rapids in general? Well, I'd have to go with, uh, I mean, other than the locker room with, with all the guys, um, the IRC building, which is in the business building, uh, most of the guys are in the business program, and uh, it's just a spot there that people hang out uh, with the team um, before and after classes. Now, I know we have a tight-knit team here with the Bulldogs, but who would you consider to be your best friend on the team? Well, I'd have to go... Uh, with uh, Taylor Nelson, he's been my roommate for four years, um, and uh, we're st still roommates now. And uh, you know, he's a good guy, and um, happy to know him. Going a bit further into that, who do you normally room with on the road? Funny thing is, is uh, Taylor Nelson is actually my roommate on the road this year, so worked out pretty well. Now I know there's a lot of pregame rituals and things like that for different guys. Uh, any, any you'd like to share with us? Uh, nothing too in particular. I just like to take a pregame nap before we come to the rink, and uh, after that, just tape up a couple sticks in the stands and uh, play a little soccer. And we also have a great ambassador program here at the Ferris State hockey team. Could you tell us a bit about your ambassadors? Yeah, my ambassadors are the the Bo May family with uh, Mike and Amy and their their kids, uh, Brendan, Evan, Owen, and Caitlin. And I was lucky enough to get get um, chosen. Uh, with that family. They're a great family. I go over there for supper and uh, they're very nice to me and my whole family. Great. Now, getting into the when you started hockey, could you just tell us a bit about your start into hockey? Well, I started skating when I was uh, three, I think, and played organized hockey when I was six or so. Um, I was never, I was always a forward until about uh, I was 10 years old. We were riding over to Grand Rapids for a game and my dad had mentioned something about getting on the ice more and um, with uh, and in younger teams you only carry about five defensemen so I chose to get on the ice and I just had to learn how to skate backwards a little better that's all. Great now how do you feel the season's going thus far for the Bulldogs? Well obviously we had a, a really good start and uh, kind of tapered off towards the end there but um, we're starting to get turned around here and we're looking to have a great second half. All right, Chad, final question. What do you like to do in your free time? Well, in my free time, uh, in the little that, that we have, because we're so busy with hockey and school, um, I like just hanging with the guys at, uh, at our apartment complex where uh, most of all of our team, <laughs> most of all of our team lives, and uh, that's, that's probably about it, just hanging out with the guys. All right, thank you for your time, and vote for Chad and uh, Taylor on Hobie Baker, please.